A few weeks ago, watching E3 2021, we got this great moment of, presumably, Link from The Legend of Zelda yet again falling through the clouds. And with Skyward Sword HD releasing on the Nintendo Switch this week, I was in the mood to give it a shot too. Welcome to Mr. Screenwrite, I'm Nick, and today I'm making a book nook based on Skyward Sword. I really love art books, and I'm already mining them for ideas for future projects. I started out by checking out Hyrule Historia to see if there was any good reference images, but not a ton. Just look at that art. That's the vibe I'm going for today. I drew up a simple plan. Basically, I want it to be an above view of Link descending through the cloud layer with the surface visible below, just like in the game. I started with this box. I picked it up in the checkout aisle at Michael's for like a dollar. It's pretty simple, laser cut box, but it's just about the height of a Switch game case so it'll be perfect on a shelf between games. Time for some modeling paste. I'm going to use that to give the bottom of the box some texture. This is going to be the surface of Hyrule, and in the game I'm guessing it's just a flat texture, but I I wanted to give some depth to it. And for the cloud layer, I used some basic wire to create the shape of the opening so it's as close to a circle as I can make it. Then I created a wire frame for the top of the cloud that's just a little smaller than the dimensions of the box's interior. Sorry that this wire is a mess. I mean, it looks like Slinky Dog was in a car accident. But I cut my way around it, bent the wire around the circle and frame, And this will give the clouds some height and depth. My idea was that there would be sort of a slope of cloud from the borders of the box down to the middle opening, basically like a bathroom sink of clouds. Then I started unrolling cotton balls into fluffy strips, and I was today years old when I discovered that cotton balls are actually more cylinders of rolled up stuffing. So false advertising, they really should be cotton barrels or something. I used tacky glue to secure the bottom layer of cotton to the wire frame. Glue and cotton don't mix great. I kept getting it all over my hands and my face, and I started looking like that scene in Home Alone. And we all know it's dangerous to look like a chicken when you're working on a Zelda craft. Anyway. After layers and layers of cotton, they're pretty white, so I watered down some paint and colored the clouds sort of like a beige. I ended up being a little too heavy handed with my paint. But at the end, I simply stretched a thin layer of cotton across the whole thing again, and it took that bold painting down a notch while still preserving the little shadow effect that I was going for. So while that dried, I cut some spare wood that I had for the top and bottom of the box frame. Mostly this is to hide the oval holes that were cut into the box. And then I clamped it in place, and while that glue dries, it's time for that annoying thing that you've all been expecting. No, no, not that. Thank goodness. It's just my Patreon plug. Look, if you enjoy this video or the others on my channel, consider checking out my Patreon page. If you have a little money to spare and would like to support the channel, I would sure appreciate it. Check the description below. I'll drop a link to my page. Drop a link. Get it? Okay. Okay, that was annoying. Sorry. Let's wrap it up. I decided to use the forest section of Hyrule for where Link was descending down to, but you could easily make this look like the desert or the mountain with all that lava, and now that I'm saying that, man, that lava probably would have been cool. After painting a base layer of green, I added a little dirt path around. This mostly gets covered up because while I was painting, I thought it was fine. I just felt like it needed a little more depth. So I broke out the watered down Mod Podge. And spread some more grass to flock the area. And then I took a little bit of clump foliage and glued that down 
And that's going to be the great tree that's in this part of the woods. I think the little surface level view is pretty much done now. And that means it's time for Link. Initially, I was going to make the wooden shield, and that's because I had the perfect piece of wood for it. I bought a whole bag of these wooden discs for a Super Mario diorama I made years ago. When printing out reference images, I scaled Link to that wooden disc. I didn't end up going that route, but I did keep referencing that disc for scale while sculpting. So, not a waste. I also referenced this figure I have, which helped a ton in getting some of the smaller details right. I used wire to create Link's legs and arms, and I joined them together with some clay to hold them in place. Before baking, I made a hole for the metal rod that will keep Link suspended in the air. Then I made some light brown clay for Link's pants and used dark brown for those boots. I've always liked how puffy Link's pants are in Skyward Sword. They were fun to sculpt. And I sculpted his pants around the metal support so that it would get locked in place. It's kind of in an awkward spot though. Uh, I mean, good thing Link's used to awkward supports by now. While his legs were baking, I cut out chain mail and the bottom half of his tunic with thin clay, I, and I made some small snakes of brown clay. I layered those on. Mostly it was just a lot of pushing and prodding to get everything in place. The pouches are just small squares I cut from thin clay. I covered the arms in white clay and then layered on green for his sleeves. I pushed a small piece of wire into his torso before baking to support his head, which ended up looking more like a cone head at first. Off camera, I made the shield I ended up going with, the traditional Hylian shield, and then I made the fully powered up Master Sword because tradition, you know, this is classic Link. Well, uh, kind of. So I decided to make this Link middle-aged and balding, I guess. Those are just small snakes of yellowish tan clay layered in as his mullet and bangs. But there you go, covered up by his hood after all. I didn't bother with his face much. I added ears and a nose because based on Link's position in this book nook, it would be so hard to see eyes and a mouth and I decided it just wasn't worth the effort. Then the sword and shield are positioned. I added some gloves and fingers and Link's ready for his final bake in the oven. And after he's finished for scale, another famous Link, Abraham Lincoln. Huh? Huh? Uh, let's get back to the box to put some finishing touches on it. I bought these string lights from Target for a few dollars by wrapping them around my clouds. I was hoping to give it an extra pop and make it look like sunlight was shining through them. I cut off the top of a plastic cup so that the clouds could rest on that rather than directly on the bottom of the box. And that way it kept the illusion of depth more. And, and I think that and the lights just tied everything together really well. So to make it permanent, I needed a special tool, the pin vise. I drilled holes for the wiring and ran it through the back. I didn't want to hot glue the battery box to my wooden box, so I used a command strip to attach it. That way, I felt like it'd be easy to switch out batteries and pull this off if I needed to. I was satisfied with how everything was fitting, so I glued the plastic cup ring in place, got an assist from Mario to weigh that down, then I used the pin vise to drill a hole for the metal rod supporting Link right in the middle of that cloud ring. I glued the string lights to the cloud, positioned the clouds into the box with some hot glue, and, and I used hot glue to secure that rod holding Link up in, in his perfect floating position. I think it's time to see if this project came together gracefully or plummeted to the ground now. Hey, while editing this video, I passed 100 subscribers. That is awesome because you guys are awesome. I've only been doing this for a little over a month. Thank you so much for all the support. If you're not one of them, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can see my next video as soon as it's ready. I've loved reading your comments on my other videos and I want to hear what you thought of this one. Let me know if you're excited to dive through the clouds in Skyward Sword HD or the sequel to Breath of the Wild. 
Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Nick at Mr. Screenwrite. Bye.